So tonight we are at an undisclosed location, one where a previous paranormal investigation team has encountered some paranormal activity. They experienced what can only be described as a woman crying upstairs and throughout the property, taps and bangs. Little is known about the history of this location and that's why we are here tonight, to hopefully find more proof of the paranormal. What mysteries does this manor house hold? Hopefully tonight we will find out. Okay, so as usual we've got Andrew, Andrew's holding the camera at the moment, we've got Olivia with Proving Demons and tonight we're joined by two special guests, Elizabeth and Holly, who are our mods. Now we head upstairs to the site of where we have experienced crying, sounding like a little girl. Rumor has it one was actually murdered in this house only a few years back. Could this possibly be the cries of the little girl still stuck here screaming for help? Yeah. Simon, Ghost Raiders, is about to find out. Okay, um, so we've, we've come up onto the first floor and we are now currently studying the bathroom. And this is the area where Andrew said that he, when he was here last, heard what sounded like a young girl crying. If there is any spirits here of a young girl, are you able to repeat the sounds that Andrew heard the last time he was here? We're recording, and if you do, the microphone will pick up your, your cries. Maybe they were cries for help. I'll just give it a minute, just see if anything comes through. Maybe you'd like to interact. What was that? That was a loud bang. What was that? Uh, just say. Decompose. Decompose? Look how powerful that word is, too. Yeah. Full bars. That, that bang was that you guys banging? We just heard, I just heard a loud bang a minute ago. Was that you guys? Wasn't me. Please. I don't know, but that's interesting. Do you yeah. I kind of want to pull the bath panel away and see what's underneath it. Go for it. You know. If you're impulsive, do it. Yeah. Maybe there's somebody decomposing in there. What do you guys think? Leave a comment right now. Is there something decomposing underneath this bath panel that was trying to get a hold of us? Get me torch out and have a look. It's a clean removal. It's actually cleaner under there than. It's probably the cleanest part of the house. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing under there. Maybe a few decomposing flies, but uh, sadly, that's about it. Well, while you're getting the spirit box out, what did it just say? Gag. G A G gag. That's really that powerful. is a really powerful word. When we got gag and decompose, you notice those two words also happen to be more relevant to what we, what the history supposedly is here, as far as rumors we've heard. Okay, so do you want to just, shall we just discuss the rumors that we've heard about this yeah, place? Yeah, at this point we probably should. Okay. Um, uh, for those who don't know, we were tipped off of this place. It's quite unknown at the moment, but the rumor at the moment, uh, based on some news articles we were forwarded, that we can't actually confirm if they're correct or not, is that a 16-year-old girl was basically the R word for the safety of our channels. Now YouTube is really strict about words we use. r and then murdered. So you know what I'm saying. So obviously, getting words really strongly like decompose and gag seem to be relevant to the rumors, the legends of this place. All we can really do though is keep, you know, investigating, see if we can find out more of a story, see if there's some validity through spirit contact, if that story is, uh, is real or not, or otherwise just pick up any paranormal activity we can. Yeah. Yell. Yell. Uh, that's quite, quite strong. strong as well. Yeah. Yell, gag, uh, decompose. I see you guys are taking photos, trying to catch something on camera. Mm -hmm. If you do catch anything, just let us know and show us. Yeah, please. Okay. Right. All right, let's do it. FM in reverse. Okay. 
Hello Spirits, my name is Simon, I'm joined by Andrew, Olivia, Holly and Elizabeth. And is there anything you'd like to say to us tonight while we are stood here on the upper floor? I thought something came through there. I almost sound like you said your name. Huh? I didn't Found you. Found us. Where are you stood right now? Are you are you around us now? I thought that said shot. If you found us, like that was like a fear. right? If you found us and you're here now, are you able to interact with some of the equipment we've got laid out? No, that one off. Tom, who's Tom here? Well, just to all. show that because that said Tom, right? And roughly at the same time, I think that said Tom as well. Oh, okay. So it'd be interesting just to see if they both validated one another. Definitely. Okay, it's not a strong word, but we can talk to Tom. If you are here and you are a spirit that is here, be able to say something. Be able to say Tom again. Help me. Help me. You wanting help? Well, we can help you if you want. If you want help, you just say the word yes. Maybe you'd like us to say the Lord's Prayer. Problem. Problem? Hmm. What's the problem? What? You heard something. Yeah. What does it sound like? Are you are you in the hallway with us? Can you say hallway, please? If you are in the hallway, are you able to make your presence known by shutting one of the doors, throwing something towards us? Yeah. Decompose. Yeah. Are you buried on the property? Inside. Yeah, then, did, was yeah. it you or did it just no, tap twice? No, it's hot. The spirit box said inside. Let's move in here for a second. Right. I'm ill. I'm ill. I'm ill or I'm well. Or yeah, like yeah, yeah. If you are here and you are willing to communicate, are you able to tell us what is in one of the rooms downstairs on the floor? It's a rider. Okay. Well, that's a there is horse equipment. Down there. there is horse equipment downstairs. Yeah. So quite a bit. I just want to be aware if you can actually hear our voices right now. Please say I can hear you. As well. something, something. There's something out as well. I don't know what he said. You have to listen back to that. Hmm. If you can hear us, can you say I can hear you please? I did. Did. Okay. So does that mean that it can hear you? Did. Did, did hear you. Please feel free to use some of the other equipment that we've got here tonight. Double. Mm -hmm. 
you don't just have to use this device that I'm holding in my hand you've, you've got a range of different equipment if you want to use it are you happy using this device I've got in my hand this little spirit box just want to say yes you are or no you're not Please. 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 So it's really, yeah, and it just copied you there. Yeah. Set outside right after you said it. Talk about digging. I feel like something might be buried on the property. Um, have you noticed the spirit box? The spirit box is much more active now. Yeah. That we turn the lights off. Okay. Do you, obviously you prefer it? It just said dirt. Dirt. We've had dirt on this as well. Where? On the spirit box. Right. Okay. <laughs> what have you heard? Oh, a bang. A bang, so we've had a bang in the hallway and... It just went, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Can I ask you a personal question? Oh, by video? Are you... Threatened us. Is, some, is somebody buried on the property? Can you just say buried if someone's buried here? See ya. It's not a strong word, but it says foliage. Foliage? That first hole. That first hole. Main. Can you tell us if it's inside or outside? Hmm? Main is an main. Is somebody buried inside or outside? I said you're disgusting. I'm not talking to anyone. Mission is available. Alright. Do me a favor, real quick, Simon. Yeah. Turn the spirit box off. No longer have. I'm going to turn the spirit box off just so you can perhaps try and communicate in a different different way for us. If you can clearly hear our voice, can you bang on something or tap on something for me? Please. There's like a hug. I had mm -hmm. to feel that. Perhaps you can show yourself. Used. Used. Okay. Quite a strong word as well. Were you used? Do you have a story you'd like to tell? Is it true what they said? What they say about what happened to you? Are, were you 16 when this happened? I've got shivers down one of my legs. Which one? My left one. I just heard a tap. Yeah. <sighs> Are you able to to walk towards the sound of our voice. If you walk down the passage, maybe we can see you and pick you up on our recording device, the camera. That's me. Why did I say that as though I was talking to somebody from a different century? <laughs> don't know. There could be someone from another century here that you don't, you don't know. Can you? Don't fall over, Liz. Can you please <laughs> approach us? I'm going to step closer, a bit closer to the door, not... Loving. Loving. Well, we're trying... Regardless of what they're not there. We're trying to be loving and understanding as well. We want to get to know you better. Help me. Can you try to make a noise for us if you want to try and be friends? If you're willing, Tony, you want to, there's a device in the bathroom on the floor 
It's got a little aerial stuck out of the top of it. If you want to interact with that device, it'll make a noise. It won't hurt you in any way, but it will let us know that you are here. So you thought you could feel it a minute ago? Yeah, but it's gone now. To a different part of the house, I don't know. Right. The whole left side of my body feels really strange. How does it feel? Like my my legs are tingly, like my left leg. I've got a pain on the left hand side of my head as well. Okay. You alright, Olivia? I'm just really cold, like <laughs> extremely cold. How are you feeling? I feel fine. I feel yeah. alright. <coughs> I feel fine. You know, we did the last time we were here think that the, they preferred women over men. I think I'm not the surprised well, after what they went through. I yeah. think the girl... Cup. Cup? Yeah. Or cope? Cup. C-U-P. So oh. you've only felt like you have since you've been in this room mm -hmm. and you've just... Is it because you stood where you are? I mean, if you move to a different area of this room, would you feel the same? Oh, well. Now it's on that side. It's like my calf well, and my... I just ruined my calf too. It, like, I got sharp, the it's like you, tingling. The thing is, you were stood facing us, which is obviously that side of your body, mm -hmm. and you've turned round and you've said it's on the opposite side, but it, so whatever's... Quite Whatever it is, is obviously on that side. Hello? I find it interesting though that you both were, you both had a pain or whatever in your calf at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've done about 45 minutes downstairs of, and we've decided that we're going to come up into the attic area. Um, this is my first time in the attic, but Holly, Elizabeth and... Olivia, did you come up? No. No, you didn't come up. Uh, they've been up here and um, Holly said that she felt that it was a totally different presence up here. So we're going to see if there's anything that we can get to come through on Spirit Box, Ovulus, Rempod, K2 while we're up here in the attic. Anything up here that would like to communicate with us while we're up here, please feel free to do so. Move something, there's plenty of equipment, there's plenty of stuff laid out for you to interact. That was my foot. There's a board game over there. Drive. There's a board game over there. Game of life. Does, like that, to does that piss you off that the game of life is up here? Does the irony kill you? We like to throw it off of the bench that it's laid out on. Is that you? What was that? That was Elizabeth is there. Whatever that, that happened in the back of the room. Perfect. In the back Thank of you. The room. Thank you for moving something. Hello. <laughs> stay, calm, stay calm. The, me and Olivia deal with this stuff all the time. It is real. When we film this stuff, just so you're aware, it does actually happen. <laughs> Things get moved on their own. Glance. Glance, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't see it with my own eyes. I was looking at the game of life. We heard it though. Yeah, we yeah. heard what that was. Are you able to repeat that for us? Throw something else. we're all looking at it now what yeah it? well I'll tell you what as soon as we are all sort of now looking in the general direction yeah. of the noise let's just try and ignore that area and just focus on something else and we'll see if we can get it to uh, to mimic to do what it did my camera has been struggling to focus your camera's been struggling to focus the in the doorway is there anything in there that would like to come through into this area? Please feel free to do so. There's a device in the doorway. If you come near it, it'll set the lights off. Oh, I've got ringing in my ear. 
you have nothing to be afraid of and we mean you no harm all we want to do is talk to you communicate with you right i'm going to do an evp if you can talk into the device in my hand that way we can hear your voice okay we'll uh, get everybody nice and quiet all right uh, wait for elizabeth to here we go take a drink Can you try to make a noise for us or speak to the device in my hand? Eric. Is there anything you'd like to tell us? Maybe there's a story you have to tell. I'll leave it at those two questions for now. <laughs> Run. That's moving. Is there a breeze? It's got to be a draft. Uh, yeah. I will say draft for yeah. that. Elizabeth, do us a favour. Go on. Walk towards that. No, no, right here. no EVP, by the way. Right, just walk towards there, yeah. Just do it further. Right, so now you're actually. Do you feel a draft? Super. Do you feel a draft? You must do, because I'm, I can almost feel a draft from here, almost. I'm it gonna... isn't particularly. I can feel air coming in here, yeah. but not right. that much. But then again, this is. Pretty thin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look, it's just paper. Right. Look. Okay. So we'll debunk that as being wind. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. That's all right. It doesn't explain the loud rock moving. No. So we've had no, e uh, no EVP on the um, voice recorder? No. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Do you want to head back downstairs? Okay, so we've, uh, we've done a bit on... Um, on this top level in one of the rooms at the other end, uh, the bathroom, and we've also been into the attic, so we've come back downstairs now onto the um, bedroom floor, so to speak, and we're going to do a, a spirit box session in another room in the property. I can see the smiling face. I can see the what? Smiling face. That wasn't actually scanning, but it was. that was right at the very beginning. Okay. It's funny if the uh, spirit was trying to help with the camera. Mm -hmm. I can see it again. Yeah. Sam Dale. Are you able to see us? If you can see us, just say that I can see you. Can you just say if it is you that it's me? So far tonight we've had a couple of things thrown, one in the attic and one in this room. And it's really like for you to continue with the activity that you're producing. Maybe you can throw something else. Would you like to throw something else? Tell you what I'll do, I'll give you your my permission. I'll give you your, my permission to throw something at me. I'm going to regret that. And the floorboard comes flying at me. <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was it you that moved something upstairs in the attic area that caught our attention? <laughs> the 
If it was, can you just say it was me? Allegedly, there's been a murder here and a murder of a young girl. Okay, so we've uh, we've been upstairs and we've done some filming upstairs in the bedroom and bathroom area, and we've also been into the attic and done some filming up there. Now we've had some quite uh, interesting experiences upstairs with things uh, kind of being thrown at us. And uh, now we are back down on the ground floor, which would be like the kitchen area, the living room, and places like that. Hello there. Are you okay with us being here? Or would you like us to just leave you alone? Can you, can you say go away? What? That sounded like something hit the window. Is this my head? Let's see. When the baby I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't say it's that windy. Teacher. And it was only once as well. So like if it was like a tree or a branch hitting it. It was a branch hit it constantly hitting it. The window with the um, with the branch. Um, I suppose one way we're going to find out whether it was something thrown or what is obviously to go outside in a minute. But, uh, Can you go out that way though? The door to it is there. Tell you what, when we go out then. Uh, I'll tell you what, you go outside and if you die a horrible death, we'll. Spirit box you. Spirit box you. Anybody out there? No. It's just raining. Okay, so we've just been doing a spirit box session down here Andrew's been doing the spirit box session and we heard what sounds like a pebble being thrown at the window um, it isn't windy it is raining but it isn't windy uh, to a degree that a branch would be constantly hitting the window or hitting the window once um, Andrew's just been outside there's nobody out there so um, at the moment we can't really debunk that uh, I'd like to, but at the moment, sadly, I can't. So, do you want to carry on with your spirit box, Andrew? Um, it seems to like you talking. Maybe we can get something else thrown. All right. Right. Do me a favor. <laughs> Throw something at us. Charge us. If you're from a... Kill me. Shut up for a second. No offense. Did you just hear the banging? Yeah, behind. No. <laughs> Hello? It sounded like it was upstairs. Hold this. Give me a camera. It did sound like it was kind of upstairs, or at least in the back area. Pasta. Pasta. That's yeah. right. You being American. What? Pasta. <laughs> pasta is more American, isn't it? Pasta is in food or pasta is in vicar? Pasta is in vicar. Oh, I thought you were saying pasta like noodles. Man of God. No. Uh, Sorry. It's, human. it's my Yorkshire accent, but obviously. I thought human. they were offering us food. Pasta. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what's weird with your with British accents. Y'all don't even know what you guys are say saying half the time. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is your last chance because we're about to head out. Is there any final messages you want to give us? Whether it's... 
through this okay, device, yeah, through yeah, that yeah. device. Well, last one of the words on here was lost. Yeah. Whether it's you throw something, something before we leave. Come on. Right. Well, I'm sorry you're lost. Right. I'm sorry you're lost. I feel your pain. I will never understand it until I'm there myself. But I do want to say thank you for your time and we might spend more time here. What's the matter, Simon? I heard something. What'd you hear? What was that? What was it? Sound like uh, something being moved. Yeah, like drag. Okay, yeah. so we've been here for like a couple of hours. We've done the investigation. We've been into um, the attic. We've done the upstairs, and we've done obviously now the downstairs areas of the uh, the property. Uh, we've had some interesting results. Uh, spirit box, as always, I'm gonna have to go over and review that footage. Um, Rempod K2, sadly nothing. Ovulus on certain words has been on point and we've had what we can only describe as weird bangs, taps, things being thrown. Andrew, have you heard anything that you want to add? Wow, you put me on the spot for once. Right, yeah. now I know how all you feel. Mm -hmm. Right, so this house, obviously, there's nothing confirmed as far as history-wise as of yet, but obviously, I'd say we did get some validating responses that actually kind of push us or lean us more towards the rumors and the news articles that were sent our way. Activity has been interesting. It's obviously not the most insane house we've ever been, ever done, but there's something odd happening here. That much I can say. Maybe so. there'll be something on here that all, all of us have missed. It could be an EVP that the microphone has picked up. I've had that before. Uh, I know you've not picked anything up on your EVP recorder, uh, but that doesn't mean to say that this microphone that's up here on top hasn't picked anything up. So uh, I'd like to say thank you for watching. And if you enjoy this film, please like, share and subscribe. And I'd like to thank Andrew for coming out with us tonight. Obviously, he's never far. Uh, Olivia is never far away. And also, we've got our two mods, or two of our mods, Elizabeth and Holly. <laughs>